This question that I'm, I'm referring you to now is perhaps one of the most important questions. Now, this question is very important in, firstly, your settlement geography, your urban settlements. Remember, you did industries in your, in, in, in your uh, urban settlement. You did the location factors of, 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 of uh, uh, industries there. Then, last week, we had a look at people and the needs where we had to look at what are the things that the decision makers consider in order for them to decide where, of, where they're going to locate the industries. Now here we've got a map, and we would like to see, but why do we find this Ferro Bank industrial area? Why do we find it here? I've, I've drawn here a, a purple type of line here around it. So, so we're talking about this area here. Now if you look at, have a look at this, lots of black blocks. In other words, here we've got lots of, of, of different industries there. Now, what have we learned uh, over the past years? We have learned that, 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 that um, industries, they need level ground, raw material, water, labor, power, transport, and a market. Now, this is what you should know in your content. But now the problem is, when I have a look at a map, how do I, I identify all these things on a map? Because they are going to ask me, why do you think uh, is Ferro Bank industrial area located here? What are the factors that play the role uh, 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 for Ferro Bank uh, being located, uh, located here as an industrial area? Let's have a look at these factors on the map. Firstly, people, if you have a look uh, at the, 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 the area there, it's very, very level. Here I see one contour line running, and here's the following contour, and there's another one. So this means that the area, the contours are very, very wide apart. So, so this means the area is very, very level. Secondly, raw material. We've got mines here in the area, diggings, 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 lots of them. So, so immediately, this should tell you something. If, we've, if, if the raw material is mining, then it means that Ferro Bank is a heavy industry. Remember, we've done this in our settlement geography. So if we look at this industry here, and we look at these industries, yes, remember, here's the CBD here of Witbank. So this one is closer to the CBD here. So this means these uh, industrial areas over here is another one. Those would be a more lighter type of industry, where this one would be a heavier one, dangerous, right? Explosions that can, uh, can, 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 can take place there. Okay. Then water. We had a look at water also. There they've got water tanks there for, to supply the water to the industries there. What about labor? Yeah, we've got a huge industrial area here. And remember that your, in, your, in your settlement, you also learned that your lower income uh, uh, areas are closer to your industries. Have a look at that. So please remember that as well. So we've got our labor there. Then transport. Uh, so, sorry, power. Yeah, we've got a power line running down here to supply, uh, uh, supply electricity to Ferro Bank. Then we've got our transport. Here's a railway line running here, transport. Also, we've got roads running in and around Ferro Bank. We've also got the conveyor belts here. There's one, two conveyor belts here in Ferro Bank industrial uh, area. And then also, the market the urban settlement that can serve as market. And remember, the market is much further than this uh, because this is part as the PVV area. And remember, perhaps overseas markets as well, but you can't see this on the map. So please remember, people, the only things that you can man uh, mention are the things that we find on the map. And these are the things that you see. You see it's a rare level area. We see there's raw materials. We see there's water, conveyor belts, transport by means of railway as well as road, labor, and the market. So people, you must refer to your map when you answer uh, this question. Now, when you answer this question, people, uh, many people in the second question, uh, question paper make this huge mistake by only saying, remember the question is that um, you should uh, describe the fa fa factors on the map uh, uh, that, that, that cause Ferro Bank to be situated there. You can't only say transport. You've got to say transport in the form of, uh, of, of, of railway lines, Right, you've got to refer to your roads, you've got to refer to your, 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 your conveyor belts. You've got to say we've got water there. Why? There are tanks there. We've got a, 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 a labor here of the residential area, raw ma ma material from the, uh, from the diggings. People, did you notice that I've referred to the map when I was giving you the answer? Okay? You must refer to the map. Don't only write telegram style by writing conveyor belt, 
raw material, marked people, you're not going to get marks for that. You must use the map to answer your questions. It's very, very, very important. Use your map. Refer to your map as often as possible when you answer your second question uh, paper. Uh, paper.